Yo, what is up guys, Grim here, and in today's video, I'm going to give you guys my reroll method I used to get Bronya alongside a ton of insane 4-star light cones. I then took this account and pushed it obviously with the spending to get Sally, uh, and that's pretty much what you want to do. Get a good account and then invest how much you want to. Get the character you want. Now, what is the method? Well, it's going to be the beginner 5-star reroll method. Essentially, the goal of this reroll method is to get to the 50 out of 50 beginner banner pulls to get the guaranteed 5-star C1. What it is if it's who you want keep the account if it's not put it in the bin and we're going to be doing that as fast as possible now you can also try and get other things alongside the beginner character you want uh say you wanted bronya bailu or japad so you take any three of those you might want to get them along some four stars you might want to get them alongside some uh, light cones and we'll talk about some of the good ones to look out for when you're re-rolling as well in a second here but what is the method let me take you through it so there's a lot of stuff in star rails re-rolling process which you cannot control and which are just going to be how it is and the tutorial is one of those so the game is going to start you out in the base zone and it's going to ask you to play as kafka and silver wolf and get through the tutorial there's nothing you can do to speed this up just spam click all the dialogue get through it and that's just how it is going to be now once you get to this room you're going to pass through a wall with silver wolf and kafka and you are going to kind of move through the story uh you're going to be picking your mc you're going to name your mc and then after that you are going to wake up and march and danhang will take you to the storage zone now in the storage zone you're going to move through here up to the center of the map but when you get to the center of the map you're going to encounter den hang and it's going to teach you about leveling up this is the first optimization you can do on the route now if there's any enemies along the way which aren't directly needed for completing an objective or a mission absolutely skip them just walk past them they will leave you alone it's going to speed you up quite a lot now when you get to this center elevator here the first thing you're going to want to do to optimize your re-rolling is going to be to use the event codes the event codes are going to be linked down below in the description just key them all in and the place that you key them all in is here you go redemption code key them all in bang 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 you're gonna get 350 stellar jades you're gonna get five experience books and you're also gonna get five light cone experience canisters now the only thing we care about here right now is the experience books so with the experience books you're gonna go into your characters you're gonna level up march using one purple experience book you're gonna level up trailblazer physical using two purple experience books and you're gonna level up dan hang using two purple experience books this is gonna take their level up massively and increase your clear speed and your clear times which is obviously gonna make the reroll faster now, after that, you are going to move through this storage zone. You're going to talk to Ireland. You're going to do the RP with Ireland. And then eventually, you're going to be asked and directed to get to the master control zone. Now, in the master control zone, you're going to be able to come up here, talk to Asta, and activate warping. Now, you're going to be able to warp once. And here, you can kind of make a bit of a decision. Now, here, you can go ahead and check your mail. Uh, your mail will contain 20 pulls as well as Sobel, as well as some Stellar Jade. So you can grab that. And you can do the 20 pulls if you want on the beginner banner. And you can see who you get. But for the most part, that's not really what you're worrying about. What you're worrying about is completing the full run. So if you want to be super duper time efficient, just ignore the pulls that you get. You don't need to use them right now. You can use them later. Now, after that, you're going to need to slay the Doomsday Beast. So you're going to be moving through the campaign, move through as fast as you can. Don't worry about chests. Don't worry about anything. Just move through as fast as possibly can. The next part is going to be going through the supply zone. So you're going to move through the supply zone, skip all the enemies you can, and don't fight anything you don't need to until you get to the Doomsday Beast here. You're going to kill the Doomsday Beast, and finally, you're going to unlock two times speed as well as auto battle. Now, after the Doomsday Beast is dead, you're going to be coming back to this zone here and you're going to talk to Asta, do a bunch of RP and it's going to ask you to then go to Herda's simulated universe which is over here uh, just run over here all the way over here and jump into the door now when you're in Herda's simulated universe here you're going to go ahead and obviously do her simulated universe it's mandatory you can use the auto battle function so you can kind of take your hands off the keyboard for a little bit here and chill out and you can get through that and that's going to be fine you're going to come back out and she's going to be like you know great you can continue with the story but don't stop go straight back in and do the second simulated universe you'll easily be able to smash it you don't have to worry about anything you'll just be able to auto battle your way through all of it but do the second simulated universe straight after now after you get out of the second simulated universe which isn't too hard come over here and claim your rewards now you're going to be if you did it correctly getting quite a few stellar jades so when you're in the simulated universe always pick the gold or the highest rarity blessing and if you do this you're gonna be able to claim a bunch of stellar jades from the rewards here so i've got 80 here from the preservation and you're gonna get another 80 here from the what is this uh, the candlestick so that's what you're gonna be getting there another 160 stellar jades after this you're gonna to want to jump over and complete the rest of the story which will eventually direct you to the parlor car now when you're in the parlor car all you need to do is do a bit of rp with pom pom and he's gonna tell you to go to dan hangs and march's room you're gonna do that come back talk to him and then you're going 
you're going to talk to him and more and you're going to level up your trailblaze level and see what rewards he has for you he's going to give you stellar jades as well as another standard banner pull now you can get to pulling your five star you have everything you need and you're ready to go so you're going to come in you're going to do your pulls which you have here so it's 20 pulls i believe that you're going to be able to do do those 20 pulls, don't spend more, and then come to the shop. And what you're gonna do in the shop is you're gonna go to the Ember Exchange, and you are gonna purchase five star rail passes. And then, in addition to that, afterwards, you are now a high enough Trailblaze level that you can come in and you can come to the event panel here. When you're in the event panel, what you're gonna be looking for is, I mean, you can grab the special ticket, but you're gonna be coming to Trailblazer Will. You're gonna grab the 10 pull here as well. Now, overall, you should also then go ahead and take a look at your adventure log. Because you completed the second simulated universe run, uh, you will also have another pull here, which you can grab right here, right here. There it is. And with all of these things combined, you're going to go back into the pull menu here, and you are going to warp. And if you only ended up getting uh, four of the tickets from the shop, you know, do a warp, another temple warp, and then get the fifth one. But then after that, you should have enough stellar jades as well as standard banner tickets to complete the standard uh, character beginner banner, and then you will get your five star. Now, if the five star is exactly who you want great you're in luck man and you can keep the account but if it's not go again just do the run again it takes about 50 minutes to an hour and 20 and that's kind of what you're going to be looking at there guys all right so obviously if you get your character that you want or you get someone that you're happy with and you're looking for some extra elements and you want to kind of keep rolling for an even better account what are some things to look for? So first and foremost, the things to look for are going to be characters. If you can get more characters, you know, you're going to be in a much better situation. Now, the things that you really want to look for are the four stars, which are as follows. Su Shang and Ting Young. Those are the two four stars that you are looking out for and that you would really, really like to see. In addition to that, putting Eidolons on someone like March is also incredibly strong. Putting Eidolons on someone like Sovel and Dan Heng is also incredibly strong. They are both very, very, three of them, sorry, are very, very good characters and you'd love to see Eidolons on them. In terms of light cones, let's take a bit of a look at light cones. In terms of light cones that you would want to see and want to pick up, this one here is not bad. The Dan Hang signature, only silence remains. It is definitely a pretty good one to have, especially if you want to use two hunt characters instead of one. You can also look out for this one here, which is Dance Dance Dance. It is definitely one of the best supporting light cones in the game. It's going to advance all your team members' actions forward when you use an ultimate. It's insane. Another one you would want to look out for here is the Nihility one, which is going to grant you a defense shred on Nihility. Healer units. So this one's completely insane on Sampo and Pella. And if you can get one copy or multiple copies, you are going to be very, very happy. As when you do superimpose it, it actually increases the defense shred. In addition to that, it also increases the chance to apply it, which is very, very strong there. So it's going to go, I think, go up to 70% as well as a higher defense shred. So those are the things I'd be looking for, guys. Good four stars are Su Shang and Ting Young. Good light cones are Dance Dance Dance, as well as this one here, which is Resolution Shines of Pearls of Sweat. And then any damaging light cone, you know, like Only Silence Remains is also pretty damn good as well. Alternatively, if you are really stuck on someone like Bronya, you would also like to get quite a few meshing of cogs as it will make her a lot easier to use earlier. And that will actually shorten her rotation and make her a lot stronger as well. So overall guys, that is my reroll method here. And that is what I'm looking for. Uh, I wouldn't worry too much much about any sort of meta stuff pull for who you want and overall that is going to be the most enjoyable for you guys i've given you guys a few things to look out for hopefully you guys have enjoyed the video if you learned something new and this helped you make sure to subscribe to the channel check down below for the cards and until next time cheers